Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Steve Shannon, and this is the first recording for our Moose and Zapdos tutorial, which will guide you through the process of installing and running plasma simulation um, tools on the Moose open source framework. So the, the goal of this is to start off assuming that uh, that you have not worked with this framework or anything like it actually before. And they're going to walk you step by step through the simple process of installing everything you need under your computer and getting everything running so that you can begin running uh, simple simulations. Um, this first this this first uh, video is pretty simple and pretty quick, but in the grand scheme of trying to um, get people to keep watching your videos, the first one should be uh, quick and entertaining. So I apologize, I only would, was able to go one for two and make it quick. Um, what I want to show you really quick is I want to show you are um, some of the online resources that you will want to use as you navigate the next few videos and begin to install the software that you need for being able to run plasma simulation in the Moose framework. So I'm going to share my screen really quick. And I wanted to walk through a few of the websites that um, that I would encourage you to visit and familiarize yourself with um, before going on to the next video. The first one shown here is the Moose Framework uh, main website at mooseframework.inl.gov. Uh, you can see the address shown on top of the screen here. And this is really the go-to for um, we're going to come here to get our installation packages and get Moose set up on our on our computer. You see, they have a get started um, here where you can install Moose for whichever operating system you tend to use. Um, documentation, as well as help, which includes developer tools, including the data visualization package Paraview that we'll be using, as well as the editor um, Atom, which we'll be using for for editing input files whenever we get to that point. So this is really your, your one-stop shop for Moose. Now, on top of the Moose website, there is also a couple of uh, GitHub uh, sites that I would encourage you to uh, take a look at. The first one is the GitHub site for, uh, for, for the Moose framework itself run by Idaho National Labs. Now, GitHub sites typically, what, what, what's nice about GitHub sites is they contain um, all software updates and and things that you would that you will need for for run for running Moose on your computer. Now it turns out, as we'll show later, that after you get Moose installed, you will have an automatic update um, on your computer that will that will update your your Moose software to the the newest um, to to the newest version. Now the nice thing about using Moose as an open source framework for this simulation is that any change to the framework is actually pretty well vetted. Um, we're using a software package that is used for the simulation of nuclear reactors. And because of this, there's a pretty strong vetting process anytime a tracked application, which includes the, the Zapdos uh, application that we're working with for, the, for, for plasma simulation, or the base Moose uh, um, um, op, uh, programming environment. Anytime there's changes to that, it has to go through extensive um, uh, quality tests in order to make sure that it is backward compatible and that um, it's not introducing anything into in, um, into the system that would, you know, make simulation of nuclear reactors or other trivial things uh, go bad. And this is one of the reasons why we picked this out for plasma simulation, because it was a well-maintained framework on which we could build our plasma simulation tools. So a couple things um, on these GitHub sites that you'll notice is that you'll have um, Things that have been updated over the course of the last, everything from just a few days ago, two months ago, to um, four years ago. So it will have a, uh, it has a pretty good extensive archival history of, of what's been, what's been put into the Moose framework. Um, it will list existing issues um, that are, that are being resolved in the framework, pull requests. And for you, actually, the big one is the discussion forum, where you can post questions about installation or issues you're having getting Moose running, and you can post questions about the general, the broader Moose framework onto this forum. Now, similarly, there is a GitHub site for Zapdos, 
Now Zapdos is the plasma simulation tool built on top of the Moose framework. So it's basically using Moose as a as, as the framework for which to for which to carry out plasma simulation work. Um, and again, you'll see uh, updates. You can you can track updates to the code um, up to looks like we have stuff that's going on here as far as as far back as eight years ago. Um, but really looks strictly at, at 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 the Zapdos application as opposed to the broader Moose framework, which is used for lots of things other than plasma simulation. Um, again, it's also a place to track issues on and, and um, that, that that are currently being worked through on on the Zapdos um, application, pull requests, and again, as I mentioned before, um, some of the um, so, uh, the the, the the, the the discussion forum where you can see um, some of the issues and some of the um, in, in some of the uh, uh, questions that come up for people who are navigating how to use Zapdos for the first time. Both this and the broader Moose discussion forum on the other GitHub site are very well maintained, and there's a large enough community at this point where your answers do get answered. Do, do you do get your answers addressed relatively quickly? Um, so I would encourage you during the process of installing the software and testing it out on your computer to get in the habit of using each of these discussion forums to post questions or problems you may have. Um, it's, it's usually the most efficient and, um, and, and complete resource you can use for working through the installation process and getting things working on your computer. Now, finally, the last three websites that I want you to, um, to take a look at. Oh, by the way, I apologize. I just realized that my, uh, so my uh, uh, browser doesn't give the, um, doesn't give the, uh, um, the full address. So I had to click on this to give you the full address. So for example, um, for Idaho National Labs, here's the, here's the full website for the Idaho National Lab Moose, um, Moose website. And for Zapdos, here is the full address for the Zapdos website. Now, these are taking you to the uh, discussion site, but obviously, if you click on any of the tabs, it'll take you to wherever you need to be for the uh, for, for that particular software package. I do want to point out also that if you do go back to um, if you do go back to the main code website, there is a link for the Zapdos website. And if you go here, this will take you to um, the, the Zapdos site, which is meant to basically mimic the same feel as the original, the broader Moose website, but strictly for Zapdos. And this has similar tools for installation and getting started with Zapdos. Um, so this will be where we're coming later on in, late, in future videos in order to walk through the Zapdos installation after we get Moose installed. Now, the next uh, three websites, the last three websites that we'll show, are the uh, are, are applications that will also have to be downloaded along with these are these are not moose applications, but are things that we're going to use um, in order to design our own uh, plasma simulation. So the first one is GMesh, which is a finite element mesh generator, which we'll be using to set up our geometry whenever we do plasma simulation. Um, and so this will walk through um, the use and the installation of GMesh, and we'll be walking through this in, in a later in a later video. Uh, the second one, and this one is, you see the, uh, here's the website right here, uh, gmesh.info. The next one is Atom, which is the recommended editor, text editor that you use for setting up your input files um, in the Moose, in, in, in the Moose framework and in, in Zapdos. Um, if you, if you're more program savvy and you have a different editor that you prefer, uh, that's fine. Uh, the reason we, I will walk through the installation of Atom as as the editor uh, for this tutorial, the reason being is that there's several uh, plugins that we can put into Atom that will help us navigate uh, the Moose framework a little bit easier. But if there's something else you're comfortable with, uh, there's probably uh, there's there's no harm in using your own editor. Finally, uh, we will use Paraview, which you'll also want to install. You know, Paraview is an is a is a open source uh, data visualization tool and this is the website and this is this is the software that we will be using to visualize our our results after we get our simulations completed um and again paraview.org is the is the is the website that you want to check out for this so i guess 
uh, before going on to the second video, if I were to assign a homework assignment, I would say, please uh, navigate the Moose framework, Idaho's uh, GitHub site for Moose, the Shannon Lab GitHub site for Zapdos, uh, walk through Gmesh and, um, and Atom and Pairview, because these will be the software packages that we'll be using throughout this tutorial. And with that, uh, I want to, um, again, the format for the videos going forward are going to be installation of the software packages. Uh, look through, look, work through some examples of, we're going to install the editor, we're going to install the visualization package. We're then going to just open up a few pre-run Zapdos Plasma simulation uh, visualization files so we can take a look, so you can get an idea of, of what, what, you know, what we can do in the, in the Moose framework. And then finally, we're going to start working through um, designing and setting up our own simulation, um, which we'll, we'll use to just study basic plasma phenomena and compare it against published results. And so that's the plan right now for this. Uh, I think that there'll be additional videos added later on as we add additional capability or have uh, other, other areas of the simulation package that we want to teach. Um, but for now, I think this gets everyone off the ground and running. And um, I hope you find it helpful in your foray into uh, plasma simulation using this platform. Uh, again, look forward to seeing, seeing you all, I guess, in the second video. And that's my alarm. So take care. Bye.